Hey guys, don't mind the lighting. It's like the worst time of the day right now. So, uh, it took me forever to get ready. As you guys can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a prom dress review, which is so badly timed because of this whole virus and everyone is being affected by it. So it's very depressing and I'm happy I'm not in school anymore because I would be really sad. But I'm sorry for all the seniors that can't have a prom, but I'm sure a lot of people are having these like organizations um, to have all these proms for everyone. Sorry, I'm gonna move my camera down because I'm so uncomfortable but then this angle is bad i'll sit on a pillow so i have some items today for those of you that are still going to a planned prom thank you to jj's house for sending me these items um, i did a video with them last year i'll link it in the down bar if you want to go check it out i might be doing a giveaway with the one i got last year just because the one i got last year was a little bit big for me and i let my friend wear it to prom so it was only worn once but if one of you guys really likes it, there's no point in me keeping it in my closet. I am gonna be doing like a tutorial for each of these dresses. I'll probably have the giveaway for my previous dress from last year in one of those videos. This year they kindly sent me accessories and dresses. I am very spoiled and I'm very appreciative of them. Prices are really good for the dress that you're getting. It's way cheaper than Camille's and all those like local prom places. They're really overpriced. Unless you want the label of Sherry Hill on your dress, then go for it. But Honestly, JJ's house is my favorite cheaper prom brand. Anyway, so first off, I'm just gonna show you guys the accessories I have, and the first one is what I'm wearing. So it is this dangly earring set, and it has little stars. I may have put it upside down, I don't really know. Fun thing about this one is it's an attachment. So here are the star earrings without this little dangly attachment that you can just add underneath. On this pair, one star actually fell off. It's like this one. So it's somewhere on my dresser. I'm going to try and fix it. I'll also have everything linked to the down bar if you guys want to go check it out. This one isn't that prom themed, but I really could not pass it up. It's this gorgeous like antique looking bag. They have multiple versions of this bag. And the original version I wanted was sold out. So I had to pick a different one, but I'm really happy I ended up picking this one. It's so beautiful. And this one also comes with a gold chain that you can attach to these little hoop things over here. And then the inside is this really pretty pastel yellow and then it has this like little pocket. Whew, I'm out of breath for some reason. I have one more handbag. I also really liked this one because we had this one at Urban and a lot of people were coming back and returning it because it kept breaking. And now I saw this one. I think they have a lot of versions on JJ's house of this type of bag. This was so cute. I couldn't. I had to see it and how the quality was. Honestly, it feels just like the Urban brand one. And I think this is cheaper. There's like a little uh, button right here, which I feel like you should be careful with just so it doesn't break because I feel like these types of things are pretty delicate. And then it turns into this like weird shape when you open it, but it's fine. And the inside is this really cute like silver material. I'm so happy I chose it. It will go with a 21st birthday outfit. It will go with like a night out, New Year's. Like this is like a really cute bag. So I got some shoes and I'm depressed because this pair is too big on me. I'm so stupid. I got a 40 in this other pair and it fits me great. And then this one I got a 41. I was following the size chart and then the size chart for this one was like a little iffy. So I say just stick to one size. <laughs> Don't get like a bunch of different sizes and second guess yourself. Maybe I can put like a little stopper back here so that this is not... <sighs> I'm just sad. I really like these. The shoes come in this little like duffel bag, which is really nice to have for when you travel and need to put your shoes in like baggies like this. If I can't make... My sister's playing with her dog. If I can't make these work for me, I will probably include these in a giveaway with that dress. These are all the bags for the dresses since I hung them up. The last pair of shoes and accessory thing I got was these. I love these. Oh my god, these are such a cute like birthday shoe and prom shoe. These are the 40 and they fit me perfectly. So it has this clear heel, which I thought was so cute. And they're a champagne. You can also change the colors on all of these. You can get like a hot pink, you can get yellow, like literally everything. The back is all shiny. The clasp has diamonds on it. They're like really fluffy for some reason. These are like the most comfortable heels I've ever had because it's not flat. That is it for this portion of the video. Now on to trying on the dresses. Okay, don't mind my outfit. I was trying to make like a monochrome green outfit and I don't know if this is cute or if it's weird. I'm trying. These are the dresses I chose. I am so in love with all of them and I wish 
I could wear these to prom, but I can't because one, I graduated, and two, my boyfriend is still in high school since we started dating when I was in high school. So we were gonna go to prom this year, and I was so happy because I was gonna have all these choices of a dress to wear, but now it's canceled. I'm gonna start off with the most bland one for us simple gals. I love this dress. I think it'd be so nice for a fancy event. So I got it in gray. Love it. I got custom sizes for all of this, which I would also recommend for you guys to do. My sister is trying to put on a gate because my dog and her dog are very annoying. Okay, so this is this dress. I actually had to tie the back of it up here because the clasps, whenever I like, why can't I say clasp? I say clasps. Whenever I like attach them, it's like a little loose. So it's kind of like dangly right here. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. <laughs> this slip underneath so you can't like see your garments and stuff. Anyway, it's so pretty. It's like all the way down to the floor. I'm gonna stand on this chair and be a little bit rebellious so I can show you guys the length of it without heels on. If I break a leg, it's your fault. It goes way past the chair. Going to prom. Yeah, I really like it. I made this a little too tight, so I'm kind of like strangling myself. This one is also really simple. I do have skin issues. I have like back acne and like chest acne a little bit. It's gotten better because I've started to use like grapeseed oil on my back. I also kind of wanted to get dresses that would make me feel a bit more confident. This one is a little out there because it covers my whole chest, but then my back is open. So it's kind of, while this dress covers everything and the back. I thought this would be a good option for us with back knee. All right, I opened my door again, so. <laughs> this is this one. It's a little itchy. Not gonna lie, but look at how pretty it is. I feel like at the end of the night in this one, you would kind of get a rash. I didn't notice that until now. I'm gonna show you guys the floor length from here just because I feel bad if you don't see the whole thing. Pretty good floor length. I, again, I gave them custom sizes. A slit on this one isn't as high, but also I feel like it's like an awkward length for a slit. Super pretty. It kind of covers the chest acne, but not really. And then the back is a little open, but my worst spot is right here. Super pretty. I feel like if I actually went to prom this year, I would wear this one. I don't know why. Now that I have like makeup on with it and everything, I feel like it's the one. I'm going to put on the nude shoes and show you guys it with this dress. Again, literally floor length. It's so good. It's like the perfect length because I hate when dresses are like this and you can see the heels. So here's the nude heel that actually fits me. It's so pretty. I actually ended up putting on the black heel to show you guys how massive it is on me. It's not that bad, honestly, but when I walk, it's a little, a little wobbly and loose and very like Kim Kardashian. I don't know. I really like it. This is more like of a, a Kylie Jenner shoe than this is Kardashian. Just kidding. They're all Kardashian. So here's the blue one. It has like the weirdest shape to it. And I gave my like custom size and the green one fits perfectly. Like it's skin tight everywhere. While this one is like a little loose right here, could be tighter. And then the back, my butt, unless it's just my ass being droopy, it's a little droopy, like material. You'd think this would be like hoot. I don't know, hoot? Kind of word is that? And then the train on this dress is so annoying. See what I mean? It's kind of loose in some spots and maybe if I steam it, it would look a lot better, but I don't have a steamer, so. But that's what it looks like with heels on. I put the nude ones on, perfect length. And then when you walk, you just have to like, I guess, hold it like this. I don't really know, but this is the train. Like the idea is there and it's pretty, but I feel like it's like really uncomfortable to walk around in. I feel like this would be a better dress for like a red carpet because no one's gonna be like stomping and dancing all over you. I don't know. I feel like also since it does have a train, that's why it's making my butt look weird. Anyway, that's that. I'm trying to show you guys, but this one is really, really pretty. I like the top, it's very elegant. My sister is being annoying in the background, so if you hear her talking. I wish I got this in a different color just because the pink is so not me but i thought i'd have fun i was gonna get this in white but then i really thought this was gonna look like a wedding dress i should have gotten this in either a green oh, i should have gotten it in that green it would have been so pretty a yellow or blue but i wanted to get like each color this is it with heels on Ta -da. it would have been cool if this had pockets but this is like super puffy you don't even need those like little puffy things if you want a glitzy one wear this one i wanted to look like bianca so this is what i got but I feel like a sophomore that's going to prom would wear this. So this is the back of it. 
It's really elegant. It's a little big on me right here, but it's comfortable. Anyway, so that is the end of this video. Thank you so much to JJ's house for sending me some dresses and accessories for prom. I hope you guys end up having proms and being able to go. I will be filming a tutorial for each dress. So look out for that. I'll have all the info for all the links for these. This video isn't sponsored by JJ's house. They just send me these stuff and I film it for you. Subscribe for more videos every week. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, which will probably be a tutorial for one of these dresses. So.